Hello everyone, uh, in this video we will talk about certain safety feature of desktop, browser and email. How we can make our desktop more secure, how we can ensure the browser security and the email security. That is ultimate aim of this session. I will give you certain safety tip uh, for the desktop first. Uh, when we are talking about desktop, it is very important that we should install a license software so that you have a regular updates of your operating system and application. In case you are using any open source software, make sure that should also be updated frequently. Always read the terms and conditions license agreement provided by the vendor or a software before installation. Uh, properly shut down and switch off your personal computer after the use along with the external devices like your monitor, modern speakers and so on. When we are talking about the desktop, how we ensure the desktop security more um, probably you have to take care of the updates of all the operating system frequently and you also have antivirus software from a trusted website or you may purchase one antivirus software that should be regularly updated make sure it is automatically gets updated with the latest virus signatures and uh, use encryption to secure your valuable information uh, when I am saying uh, encryption to secure your valuable in information that is the password should be secure you should have the password uh, to enter into the main system also that is uh, whenever you log on to your computer you should have that password security that is the first entry it should be secure strong password should be used for the admin account on computer and for the other important application like email clients and whatever uh, you know any financial application which if you are using or any particular software you are using and uh, I also say that you trade off you know regularly or periodically uh, take the backup of your computer data on a cloud or a USB drive if something happened to your computer then you should have a, a replica of that on a cloud or maybe on your other external devices in case it may get corrupted uh, you know because a hard disk failure may happen uh, at times because of the some external USB and all may infect your system or if some malware may get into your system or a virus or anything so you should have a backup that how you can you know get the data from the corrected corrupted hard disk failure when reinstalling and formatting that system so to have that provision in place we should also have a backup plan that where we are going to uh, take the backup of your computer data it could be on the cloud or any external hard disk now talking about the browser safety uh, i'll have few tips for you that you should configure your browser security and privacy setting privacy setting is very important Use a browser that allow you to take to your bookmarks with you between the device. Always block pop-ups and be caution while installing plugins. Use ad blockers if you have web filters. Enable do not track in your browser. Clear your web browser cache and cookies. Turn on private browsing also. You know, I always recommend use a VPN if you are uh, browsing something that is the virtual private network browsing is also very important for the connection end to end connection. Use a password manager in place, ensure that you have up to date antivirus firewall protection in place, never go for an autofill option. So these are the important tips uh, we should take care for the desktop and uh, your browser security. Now I will also recommend that you should optimize your browser setting uh, which is a, a critical step in using the internet securely and privately. Today's popular browsers include built in security features are there. When you talk about Google Chrome or Firefox or Mozilla and all they have an inbuilt security feature. But users often fail to optimize their browser security setting on installation. Failing to correctly set up browser security features can put you on higher risk for malware infection or a malicious attack also. So you talk about any today's popular browser including your Google Chrome, Mozilla, Firefox or a Microsoft Internet Explorer also. Well, it is impossible to guarantee complete protection from cyber threats. But I may give you a few tips to increase the security of your web browser. This security can be accessed through the uh, Chromes or Mozilla if you are using or Internet Explorer. There is an option called when you click on the settings, there is an option called advanced settings menu. When you navigate between you know from the in the Chrome settings, you can enable the phishing and malware protection. Make sure that your Chrome's phishing and malware protection feature is enabled. Under the pri you know privacy section, there is an option of enable phishing and malware protection. This feature will warn you if your site you you're trying to visit may be a phishing or a content uh, which contain malware and all. So if you have this provision in place, so you are protected. 
then turn off instant search this instant search feature should be turned off uh, for optimal security while it offers some convenience in searching having this feature enable means that anything you type in the address bar is instantly sent to to google do not sync disconnect your email account from your browser under the personal stuff uh, tab also syncing your email account with your chrome browser means that the personal data preferences and more is stored on the google server so if you must use sync select the encrypt all sync data so what is important here if you're syncing your email account with your browsers or a personal stuff it is very important you should go for the encrypt all sync data option and create a unique uh, passphrase for this uh, for encryption now there's another important tip for you that is configure content setting that is the chrome content or a mozilla content setting is also important click on content setting under the privacy section of your uh, setting of uh, chrome or uh, whatever browser you're using then you click on cookie select the keep local data only until i call i quit my browser so go for the block third party cookies and site data this option ensure that your cookies will be deleted upon quitting from the chrome and that advertiser will not able to track you using third party cookies so again this is an important feature that is block your third party cookies and site data now uh, there's another option called javascript select do not allow any site to run javascript it is widely recommended that javascript be disabled when possible to protect user from its security vulnerability but at times we require javascript to run certain application so if you want uh, you know if you finding any difficulty you can turn on but generally we recommend do not allow any site to run javascript also now pop up select do not allow any site to show pop ups the notification will comes here and there so you don't want that moderation so moderation so you uh do not allow any site to show pop up so again disable that location select do not allow any site to track my physical location also people may get to know about your location and everything right so it is also important that you put off this feature then configure password and form setting so what is there this basically configure password and form setting is a part of your autofill so there is a autofill option so you have to disable autofill and deselect offer to save password I, the moment i enter on the web under the password and form section so doing so will prevent chrome from saving your login and password so if you disable autofill so whenever you are giving your password and anything you know the chrome will not autofill it uh, it means you are not saving it uh, which again may create a vulnerability so i generally recommend that you disable autofill option and deselect offer to save password and uh, yeah so these are the small small tips which is important for the browser security you may also go for the private browsing so that's all for the browser security now talking about the email security email security is dealing with the issue of unauthorized access or somebody is doing an inspection of an electronic mail now this unauthorized access can happen when while an email is in the transit so when your communication is in the transit as well as when it is stored on the email servers on a user's computer also so email has to go through potentially untrusted intermediate computers like uh, email server internet service provider before reaching to its destination and there's no way to tell uh, if it was accessed by any unauthorized entity so it is very important that how we ensure uh, that email security and uh, i'll give you small tips that uh, by small small steps we can enhance the email security also like always use uh, a strong password so use a strong password for your email account always use anti spyware software to scan the emails or for spam uh, always scan the email attachments also with the latest anti virus softwares and anti spyware before opening it always remember to empty the spam folder also so small small tips related to the email security the ultimate is the entry is your id and the password so you should have a very strong password using all the alpha numeric codes and all we should uh, go for a longer password right more than 8 characters more than 6 and 8 characters and that should be a combination of alpha numeric code always have two factor authentication that is uh, uh, you should have that uh, 2fa uh, for your email uh, accounts also even uh, when you open a gmail or mail your opening so there is an option called manager account so imagine manager account you switch on this uh, you know enable this two factor authentication so that will enhance give you an added security to your email account so these are the small tips for your email security thank you all we will uh, subsequent and uh, you know subsequent session will talk about the mobile security thank you